At least three people have died in a landslide as Japan is lashed by Typhoon Sanchan. Authorities have issued the highest level warning for the typhoon, which made landfall at 8 a.m. More than 2 million people are under evacuation orders, and more than 250,000 homes are without power. Authorities are warning the storm could cause unprecedented levels of violent winds, high waves and heavy rain. For more on this, Hisashi Nakamura, professor in climate science research at the University of Tokyo, uh, joins us. Hisashi, welcome. So in your own words, can you describe how strong this typhoon is? Okay. Yeah, this is the one of the uh, most powerful typhoon we ha that ever uh, made landfall in the mainland of Japan. So the uh, central pressure just before the landing was uh, 235 hectopascal with the mean winds as maximum. It was around the uh, 50 meter per second or one, 180 kilometers an hour. And the possible strongest gust could reach as fast as the uh, 250 kilometers per hour. And how much rain is likely to fall, Hisashi? Well, yeah, actually, the uh, accumulated rainfall uh, in Kyushu Island, where the t typhoon made landfall, could be as much as half a meter over uh, 24 hours. So Kyushu is the place that's going to be most affected by this typhoon. Where else is it likely to hit? Well, actually, the, obviously, the Kyushu was hit uh, most severely by the typhoon because of the landfall and with the uh, uh, strong winds and uh, stormy winds and uh, also the uh, uh, high waves and possible storm surge mm. but uh, and also the heavy rains but also the uh, this because of the typhoon moves quite slowly so the uh, uh, the area affected by typhoon is spreading uh, around the uh, uh, western portion of the country. So why is this typhoon so strong? What's contributing to its strength? May I share the uh, the slide that yes. I prepared? Okay, so this, di this slide shows the uh, the path of the typhoon, uh, Shanshan, and uh, uh, sea surface temperature distribution uh, just a few days ago. So that Shanshan actually uh, started with a very weak typhoon, but and uh, but rapidly intensified uh, just two days ago, and uh, then s kept intensifying uh, just before the landfall this uh, this morning. So it reaches really high uh, wind, uh, high winds, and also the intensity. And but uh, you know the because of the, the typhoon moved over the very warm ocean, whose ocean te surface temperature reaches as high as 30 degree, degrees of cel Celsius. Mm. Celsius. So it's just like the, as warm as in a tropical ocean. So the, the uh, ocean, warm ocean supplied quite a bit of uh, moisture that is the fuel energy source for the uh, a typhoon. That's why the typhoon really gets this uh, high intensity. So we've been hearing uh, a lot about increasing sea temperatures, water temperatures due to climate change. Uh, Hisashi, will we yeah. see or will you see similarly strong typhoons in the future? Well, actually, we, we also, yeah, that was very likely. And of course, we already, uh, I witnessed uh, the another typhoon that passed the uh, approaches two weeks ago to Tokyo, close to Tokyo. That typhoon, the particular typhoon, kept intensifying until the it uh, get got the closest to the Tokyo area because of that high uh, high sea surface temperature and under the global warming and this kind of a so-called money heat wave like situation work. Be very likely so that the typhoon 
if approaching to Japan was very unlikely to uh, decay uh, as in the past. So we have, so we can uh, actually expect a stronger typhoon approaching to our country mm -hmm. in the future. Well, we hope you stay safe. Uh, Hisashi Nakamura, thank you right. so much yeah. for speaking to us today. All right, thank you.